Hello. Hello. Here, let me, um, I need to recover the microphone. You can go right there. That's fine. That's good. Welcome. This is a, a very impromptu stream. Um, I didn't think I was going to be going live, yet here I am. Um, because, as some of you probably know, a couple weeks ago, in December, I got a new graphics card for my Vive computer, which should, theoretically, be able to run um, video games. Give me a moment. I'm gonna swap out the battery on the camera. I'll probably break so that's fine. I got a second battery. I probably should charge this one, but it's whatever. It's fine. It's cool. There's only one way to test it, and that's by me pushing it to the video game scene. So I'm not even gonna no intro, no anything. Okay, yeah, that's what I expected. No video. Oh, because it's not even on. Hold on. Let me turn on the camera. Hey, what's up? Welcome to uh, my basement where I play video games. This is the place where I play video games. You can imagine it's awesome. Um, this is a very impromptu stream. <laughs> Again, my microphone's only there. This is gonna sound so echoey, and I'm not even I'm not gonna even bother to try to fix it. But this is a very impromptu stream. I just want to see how well this runs in the first place. First impressions. It's looking really good right now. It's looking. Fabulous, um, abs like a way better than this old capture card. It's right here. This thing, here it is. This is the old capture card that was in this computer. Um, Mike is fine considering the distance. Good. It is a blue yeti, and the thing that I've learned with blue yetis is that they're pretty good at that. So, um. Long time Star Tacker knowers will know that this was back this was the room where we did the Slenderman everything in detail. This is so much space here, it made it really easy. This is the old capture card. This is the old capture card. It's a it's it's an AMD. I know that. I don't know any of its specs. It's a couple of years old now, and it was made for 2018 um, VR. Which, if you know, the most graphically intensive 2018 VR game was probably Job Simulator, and not much else. So, this worked for a time, but as soon as Half-Life Alex and Bone Labs and Bo no, Bone Works came out, this thing was showing its age. But yeah, I've got a spare Blue Yeti. Um, it's a Blue Yeti that I actually use for Scrunchcraft, so I know it's a good microphone. It works absolutely fine. This capture card, this graphics card is out. Uh, I got a 3060 in there now. We're gonna, I'm gonna just play video games, and we're gonna, I'm gonna put my glasses there, and that's it. <laughs> I got the vibe right here. Let me snap this on real quick. Resolution's a little bit weird, and that's because this runs in windowed. But that's fine. Let me put the battery in there. Grab my awesome controllers, which one of them has turned off. Um, I should do this in a way. I should pop my... Um... I should pop my OBS. Specifically, the chat window. Um, oh, 
Hold on. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do, like, very minor adjustments within, um, w within <laughs> VR, which is not working. So let me just do this here. I'll have chat visible. It'll be floating next to me. I don't think you'll be able to see it in there, but it won't matter too much. I just need it to be larger so I can see it easily. Hi, Mars. OBS really wants to snap it back into somewhere, but I don't want to do that for now. There we go. That's good enough. And that'll just be floating in the world. I might have to shoot around it, but that's fine. Um, let me know how audio is good. I balanced audio for bomb, bomb game. Big angle. Yeah, my sister made this cow, and this cow is just going to... You know, this cow's just gonna be here the whole time. It's outside of my play space, and through playing multiple times, I have not run into it once. I think it would be really funny if I do run into it. But that's the cow. It's over there, and, you know, it's all good. The chat is right here. I want you to know. But whatever. This is Hot Dogs Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. It's a firearm simulator in VR, but it's also got a really good game mode. VR cow collision stream experience. Let's go. This has so much headroom. Uh, you're not missing out on anything, but I set this camera up. You can see the, the Scooby-Doo fr like frames. I, I don't think they're cells, but like... We sure have them. Okay. Like successful. Target system detected. So if you if you know me, you know that I am a freak. I should do this. But let me know how audio is, because again, I balanced this for a game that's not very quiet or that not very loud up until like two, final two seconds of gameplay. Yo, sword. That was, that's awesome. It's a stakeout. Great. It's smooth so far, which is really good. This is leagues better than old graphics card. Which, in a way, I kind of wish I could have, like, still use that one for, I don't know what purpose, but AMD graphics cards, this is the only AMD card that I've ever owned in my life. Could maybe be a touch quieter? Let me do that. Go in here, because I can do that in here. No, I just snapped chat there, but I'll fix that in a moment. Um, I can actually just make myself a little bit louder. I'm getting a little bit into the red zone. Okay, maybe I won't do that. Put myself there. Make the audio a little bit quieter. We'll do that. Um, if that wasn't too loud, then it should be good. Chat is absolutely taking up most of OBS, and also it's so far away. How do I bring it closer to me? Oh, I can make it larger. Oh, if I make it too large, though, it's going to cover my entire space. Um, oh, there we go. I can bring it closer to my play space. What I'll do is I'll put it down here, and then it won't really matter if it's that large. Well, welcome to the stream. I'm, I'm good at this game up until people are watching me. Although, it doesn't help that I'm using um, fire rounds. Let me see if I can... I'll take bird shot. I did a test game. I did a test run earlier, and I got the same revolver twice. 
This is the exact same gun. Let's put the sword in this slot and then... <laughs> yeah, sure. This works. Yeah, insanely realistic gameplay, but with hot dogs. The devs of this game have made it clear that they really don't want to have, like... But this is also being popped up on there. I think we just dropped some frames, but that's fine. I'm not expecting it to be, like, extremely incredible. It would help if I actually hit my shots. Maybe I shouldn't do this like this, you know? <laughs> that was a sound. Alright, situation has been resolved. With the use of a, a blade, an awesome blade. They have this in the, their Christmas updates. I, I was using this, and I was like, oh man, I can't look at the sights. There are no sights. What am I talking about? I don't like this shotgun. I think it's obvious on the back. It's, it's just so small. I've never seen this game be played outside of a tech demo of a gun range. Yeah, you can play it like that, but like, the take and hold game mode is like, it is the crowning like game mode of this. I just, I moved something down. I think it was like a window capture that I wasn't using. I need to move chat somewhere else. Hold on. I gotta, I don't want to get out of VR to do this, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, but the devs have made it, like, very clear that they don't want to do human targets. They want the game to, like, like, they've been very clear on not wanting to have human targets, and this includes, like, human silhouette targets. But most of that you get is very, very vague like targets, but for the most part they really don't like human targets. Which I like, and it makes playing this game a lot easier. No. I gotta like watch out where my play space is, because I barely play, um, I barely play melee in this game. I kinda wish for some chipmunk plank sounds for the sausages, not even words, just silly sounds. That would be good. Uh, um, I don't want to put a scope on either of these. I think both of these I want to get rid of as soon as possible. Oh, come on, don't make my police dice. There we go. I should just use this. This is way better. It's all shotguns. It's all shotguns. I'm gonna reroll once. That's way better. I know this gun. I own two airsoft versions of it. Oh my god. 
That can go on my shoulder slot, because then I can just swing it down like that. That's awesome. Huh? Yep. There we go. If I left it behind, I would have been so upset. smack a hot dog to death with one of its smaller breath. Yes, um, their physics means that they can be interacted in that way. Hold on. Oh my god, <laughs> he hit him with a dull blade. So I can grab this guy, kind of shake him, he comes, comes discombobulated, and if I find another guy you can just kind of throw them, and what you can do as well is the boxes that you break apart in this mode. Um, you can also hit those towards the hot dogs and discombobulate them. It's very fun. for this guy, but bird shot works, I guess. Come on, tracking. My tracking's a little bit weird because it's beyond the maximum recommended. So it's a little weird, but it's fine. It's fine. Never forgive them for giving this thing a 25 round magazine. One thing to note is how hot dogs seem to have a more flexible and faster mode than even a human. Yeah, like, I love the cartoony nature of them because it adds, like, it's just really set. Hold on, I have to kill. Oh, <laughs> get him! Better if I just use this as a pistol. Come on, come on. Tracking, come on. Tracking's not the greatest, but. Are those shotgun shells? No, they're, no, they're just normal shotgun shells. Oh. 
<laughs> Best melee weapon ever. I could get a sniper rifle, which will probably be high cap. No, it's this thing. Okay. I'll probably recycle this once I can, because it's that option now. Oop. I'm getting not the greatest um, weapon drops so far. I'm also not the great shot right now. I got like an Enrad earlier, and I was killing it with that. I don't know where my magazines are. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jackie. There we go. Sephiroth's buttering book knife. Yeah, the, the length of this is really good for being a one-handed. Like, this was one of the advent weapons, so, like, this was an advent calendar. Or, no, it was a straight-up Christmas gift. Like, this was one of the full-on Day 25 Christmas gifts, and it's so good. It's such a good melee. Come here. Like that. That's good. Decapacitation, like decapitation, decapacitation, decapitation, whatever, man. Best, best feature. Okay, goodbye to that. I'm gonna say goodbye to these shotguns, because they're not really that useful to me, anyone. We're gonna machine pistol. Like a Glock 18 with, um, well, no, it was like Glock 22, so this is probably the highest capacity magazines I'm gonna get. Yeah. That'll be at least a little bit better. Oh, are there guys in here? I hear guys. Uh oh. Whoa! Oh, God! I have never played, like, a melee. Um, VR game like Gorn or whatever. I've just played this game and I love it. This is like a Glock 43. No, this is a G22. So this is like a Glock 40 Smith & Wesson. So potent cartridge. They have great voice lines for getting stabbed and such. Hey, Amen. Is that an auto shot? -y? Short fucking kids. Uh, that magazine has to go there. I'll go there. I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I'm gonna take you out of pistol mode. Put you there. Put you there. This is an AA-12 drum mag. This thing's crazy. This won't be nearly as useful as it seems like it is, once start like one armored enemies come showing up. Looks like you can get explosive rounds for this. Then at that point it's just a little bit ridiculous. Whoop. Let's take this position and use a funny shotgun.
This guy doesn't know what's going on. rifle from Snake Eater? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not the right button. Okay. Hey! Again, 25 gram eggs. I'm not built for it. How's it going? It's going good. I'm surviving. Don't look at me ever. That just cleared all three of those in one shot. about the Glock 22 in full auto is that its rate of fire is actually low enough where you can decently use it in semi-auto. There's no selector switch from that, but you can pull off singles really easily. Oh, you're still... Oh, no. Neither of you are still alive. because if I hit the blue part, it spawns a new target on itself. That'll do it. Do I need to reload anything? I'll do it anyway, just to make sure. You throw around a lot of magazines in this game, and that's just kind of how it is. I need a rifle, I think, because an SMG, a pistol, and a shotgun is not going to do me that well against higher armor enemies. Guys, I'm feeling a little bit of frame dropping on my own end here. Um, there might be a lot of things coming to kill me. I'm not even like hitting any like direct shots, I'm just like concussing them to hell. Nice. We win. I could get a battle rifle, which is probably my best option. Okay, I'll take this. Um I have to give something up. And it might be the pistol, honestly. This will probably be more useful for me in the long run. I've been keeping like a very low um, like weapon count this run, and it's mostly because of the shotgun and the the cool the cool sword. Okay, guys, I'll make it. You'll notice with how I aim, I just kind of point shoot a lot of time. Oh, dear God.
That guy doesn't know what's happening. Bye. Oop. I kind of want to get close to this guy for a VF sword. Oop. Yes, advance towards me. Yes, you want to push my position, you see. You idiot. I want to impale someone because you can like skewer like the, the hot dogs. I'll just do that, I guess. There we go, a little bit of damage there, so yummy. Yummy. What weapons have I used? I figured I need to reload this. Grenade launcher? I mean, I would if I had the space and I didn't have awesome sword. Um, I can try for better ammo. That's gonna be armor piercing. I'm actually gonna go for that, like, immediately. This is... the same. And... That is armor piercing incendiary rounds. That is very useful for uh, a 9mm in this later stages. Being able to pierce armor is a lifesaver. Where did that guy go? Where did he go? Because, like, he could literally just be wandering around now. There's no weapons for him to pick up, so he's literally just wandering. I kind of want to find him. Where did he go? Oh my god, they're on the lookout for me. Ooh. Nice. That wasn't the guy though. The guy had like a gas mask on. Where did he go? He went into the large room, which means that he could have either gone. He could have either ended up like somewhere around here. Where did he go? So one of those echo locator mechanics to see the enemy's general location? No, you are entirely blind. The only thing you can see is where um supply points are and take like holds are if you there's a way there's an option for you to select that gives you like an omnipresent um that there's a way to have an omnipresent um radar during either hold sequences or um always but i have that turned off this guy's wandering around now too Come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know where that guy ended up. Sorry, man. Goodbye. I didn't even hear like an explosion sound from him, so he might have like literally ran away. Nice. Just good. Shooting there. Please die. Oh, well. This guy's just gonna wander now, too. I need to. I need to take cover. That's not very useful. I need to take care of these guys first. And then, there you go.
Okay, I've got a lot of half covers. <laughs> the only good, like, covers are over here. <laughs> Let's use this. Okay. Gotcha. the sword in my hand, even though I put it there. Oh dear. Okay. Serious. I should be using the shotgun. Stealth encryption? Come on. I mean, it's not randomized. I just forgot that stealth encryption exists. Win. Okay, we're still in it. This is not the final hold. I know that for a fact. Incendiary rounds are good because they do... Okay, Agile. Um. Nice. Okay, they all clumped up at the same time, which is really good for me. Okay. This is the last hold coming up now, and so, like, the only enemy type is going to be... Sure, I hope I killed someone. Uh, the only enemy type is going to be the really big guys with armor. And if not, it's going to be really, like, big damage enemies. Okay, hold on, I need to... Whoa, I don't know what's happening. I just cleaved that guy. Knock his weapon out of his hand! Go away, man! You dead? Yeah. Come on, tracking. Oh, I need health. Uh, Nice, that's a full revive. Ooh, another battle rifle. It's more expensive. Let me see what's at the next hole. It might be time to say goodbye to the sword, just so I have another weapon that's capable of punching through armor. Well, I could try for AP and set the area on this guy. Oh my god, him exploding, exploding him! <laughs> okay, it's a grenade launcher here. Um, let's try for... No, that's just more armor piercing. Um, anything funny? No, it's slugs. I don't really want slugs.
I'm kind of glad I got a shorty version of this, because I can't... Wait, I should clear this area out first. Okay. Um, <laughs> Tactical reload. See ya, man. You're still alive? I don't think he is anymore. But... I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go. Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. I'm not here. I'm not here. I don't know what just happened. I have a shotgun. I should use that. Like, for scenarios. Where it would be appropriate. Like this. Well, yeah, I like that. Oh my god. No, not when my tracking fails on me. Okay. Let's do the left hand for this. Those guys sure have some survivability? Sometimes. I should realistically just do this. If they're still up at this point... Okay, yeah, that dude can kill a considerable amount of them. But I'm also not, like, trying to aim here. Can you go away? Survivability. Sometimes they pop like a grape. Um, okay, scar. Yeah, you know what? Unless I can. Yeah, the sword's not gonna be able to come with me. Because shotgun mags don't fit in that pocket. I don't have any more pockets for it. I'm gonna take it along with me. Because it needs to come with me until the end, but. This is it. Why am I doing this specifically? With a scar. That's. This is stupid. I'm gonna have to pop my heel. But I gotta commit to the bit. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't actually. There's a lot of them. Um, okay, first thing I need to do... Make this armor piercing. Give it up for armor piercing, everyone. I don't have my sword. I gotta take you out the old fashioned way. Like that, I guess.
Let me go recover my sword. This is it. This is the final hold, and it's in this room, and that's gonna be real fun. Okay, throw that up there. Miss. Okay, bye, sword. I need to go up here. Oh. Yeah. So they have scouts now, which are like super high damage weapons, and I don't want to get hit with a single one of their shots. So I'm going to make very good use of this ladder. So yeah, I can just use that ladder. Um, as long as they don't actually know that I'm up here and they're just hearing gunfire, they won't jump across the other platforms, which at that point, uh, uh oh. Packing for college, seeing your posters has inspired me to finally bring and put up some of the posters prints I have that I've never actually put on walls. Let's go. Posters are very good. It took me a long time for me to put them back up into our new, my, like my new room after we moved. They're so good. Okay. They're being nice with me right now. Nice. Kill you. I don't want them on the opposing platforms. Because then they can jump up. Cool. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm kind of making these shots and not expecting to hit because as long as I'm suppressing them, they won't slow. One more. You're about right. I figured just slow down over time. Okay. You. Where am I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the last phase because they are all armor guys. Wait. Sword. Get up here. One final hurrah. I don't think they know I'm up here. Come on. Climb up the ladder. Yes! Paying more attention because again I don't want them on opposing platforms. Come on, give just give me it. It's gonna be over there, right? Okay, free jet. Jump down. Oh, that guy just jumped down right at me. That was it. That was the last one, but I was so out of position. So that's the um that's the modern mode. And that's all good and fun, however. If you think that, you know, just modern guns, that's not very interesting. Well, there's a cowboy mode, and we're gonna do that one. Um, I'll talk pull the Assassin's Creed finishing you on you. I wanna know that these are called so Um 
I forget why they're called SOSIGs, but they are called S-O-S-I-G, SOSIG. Hey, it's loading. This mode's hard, but I love it so much. Okay. Where's the seven? Chat is in my way. Uh, where did the seven phone for whatever? You can fan the revolver. Give it up for 9 p.m. Okay, this is a ladies' companion, and I don't even want to bother using this weapon um, because this weapon's caliber is 22 short. I'll have it uh, there because it can fit in the ammo slots, and then I'll get rid of it as soon as I can for the <laughs> for the supply point. There's that last shot. Okay. Okay. This is good. I'm gonna put you up here. This is gonna be our single shot. Very high damage weapon. show off just how puny this thing is. This thing's better off as a melee weapon than it is a gun, honestly. It is, it is not good. No, I'm gonna go the long, long way around because I know where they are. Would fail. Don't look at me. Okay. He sees me, so I'm gonna do the old classic. So it doesn't even deal like it doesn't deal bleeding at all. You also can't tell which bullets are shot. I hate this thing. But really, all you're getting out of it is doing impact damage, which is incredibly useful. I think that killed. I don't know. It didn't, but it wounded. That killed. That like instantly killed him. He instantly played a voice line. Like, 
That doesn't usually happen. Chat, you in the way of me reloading? What the? <laughs> Thanks, man. Ow. <laughs> One damage. Whoa. Come on, tracking. I know you can do it. I know you can track where my hand is. Look, my hand is so still. <laughs> Did not want to cooperate. I don't want to have a um, single shot, so I'm going to go to the next point. Usually it's a lever action. I decap. I uh, I split in half. Even if it's you. Actually. Oh. Okay, no, it's gonna be the same. That can go in there, and we're all set. Feeling huge big gun. Nice. Uh, I 
should have hit my shots. Nice. Chat, you're in the way of me reloading. Maybe I should just do this if it's not an issue. I think that did anything. This is what I'm talking about. Who needs magazines? Who needs a magazine? I'm Scrunchcraft. Scrunchcraft? I don't think she was in that one. Magazine. Wow, it's true she was in the chat. I think this is what crisis mode is like to replicas. And if you don't know what that means, then that's probably for the better. Watching that and never seeing me again. Do you mean it's like this game or like being a, in a Twitch chat? No, this game with per, me, the person who's in active combat right now. Set them up. 
4,000 now. Oh, man. My tracking will work. I would love to kill you. Um, I'm gonna go over here, even though that's really bad otherwise. You know what, I should just... There's a lot of you. Oh my god. Rifle, please. I'm gonna reroll once. I will take that. Nothing. Nothing's going on. Heal me, thank god. Every like the past like 20 minutes has been like not 20 minutes, the past like oh come on. Mars, I love you saying, do you mean, like, the game, or do you mean being in a Twitch chat? It is actually making it so I can't, like, I can't keep my composure right now. I'm just thinking about, do you mean in-game, or do you mean in a Twitch chat in regards to crisis mode? If you have a service button, I need both. I need a 3D print one. Okay, this is the greatest gift, and I'm dropping frames, I think. I think the streams have a, have a normal one. Too. I really want to. It would be really simple since it's like a lot of solid colors. I could make a lot of the components out of just like base model resin and then sand it down. The 
problem is getting a 3D printer. <laughs> I need to reload this. No. That was sick, actually. Can I do it with this? Because I know I need to put it rounded. Ow. Three rounds in. Give me a moment. There's like four of them, right? I heard the one that exploded. That was almost sick. There's four of them, right? And they kind of were. shotgun again. As cool as this that reaction is, come on tracking. This is like part, this is like vaguely an inspiration for the hazard, how it like rides on these two rails. It's kind of awesome. Like this is, this is like, oh, what's the words that I'm trying to think of? This is, hold on. Um, unconscious inspiration? Hold on, I probably should kill. What is over there? I would like to get to this next supply node, so I will. This weapon is great for one-handing. Um, this specific uh, shortened version. 
because it's semi-auto, um, it's quick to reload. So it's very useful. Um, I could get another revolver. I'm really feeling like it. I'm probably gonna get a swing open one. No, we. Oh, let's go. This is what Webley Mark Two. Okay, it's just a Webley. This is just nice because this is just a double action revolver. This is this, which is single action. What is that? Oop. And you can just do this, and you're ready to go. I wonder what that is. I think it makes me more spotty with like my aim. I love just one handing this, it feels so stupid. I'm behind my back. seems like really risky to do. Double double, my favorite bird to get in and out, not sponsored. But I think in and out should sponsor me because I think it would be funny. Can someone send them a, an email? Uh, sponsors at <laughs> sponsors at in and out .gov. focusing on actually performing close quarters combat. If you've been listening to anything that I've been saying, you probably know that you shouldn't listen. I wish I had a lever action right now. Rather than a single shot. in front of me. I just saw it underneath my the nose hole. Okay. I didn't reload that at all. My shots are have enough. Burger Company sponsored this stream, yeah, with all the sausages. Anyone remember? So everyone remembers that um, I was supposed to get a $5 gift card to Panera Bread from Socks. And I was doing some um, looking around after that stream, and I realized, 
You know, the sausage doesn't prefer or go the other way around. True. I kind of realized um, Panera Bread doesn't have $5 gift cards. I, um, Wendy's gift card. I don't even care about the Wendy's gift card. I would not be able to use it. The one Wendy's in my area closed like three years ago under mysterious circumstances. What the? Dude, this guy's a snake. I'm being pinged by my watch. Tyler just sent me a DM on Discord, and the file name is box2.mp4. Hold on, let me clear this out real quick. Oh my god, they sent the entire, that's the entire, like, population of the United States. That shotgun has no ammo in it. I would appreciate it if you didn't do that. What is box2.mp4? I have Discord on this computer. I can just play it. You won't be able to see it, but I can play it. I'm like, I'm like looking over chat right now like I would at like a dog that I'm very angry at. Like I'm looking down at a puppy who has wronged me. Foxy? Don't say don't. Where, where's the camera? There it is. Don't you fucking say that. Don't you fucking say that about the stalker Half-Life 2 scream. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? That is... Oh my god, this is peaking so much. If that is the fucking stalker scream, go underscore alert dot wave. Two. Don't you fucking say that. You should know that after playing like a single like Half-Life 2 scary map. Ooh, scary. Where it's like... Ooh, it's so scary. We put the stalker stream in there. Ooh, it's so scary. Here we, like, oh, here we are in a, this dark room. And then, like, the scary appears. Like, here we are in this dark room. And then, jump scare.
What is wrong? Come on now. The foxy jump scare. Let me let me play it for you again. Let me play it for you. Red light up here. So like, so so this is what it's like. This is what it's like. Let me. There we go. So it's like. So it's dark right now, right? It's, wait, hold on. I don't make it that, then we go there. So it's dark right now, right? It's so dark right now. You're playing a scary Gmon map. You're playing scary Gmon map. Like, scary Gmon map. And you're walk, you walk around a corner and you open a door and... Ah! lights turn off again and it's so scary it's so scary the model would be in an a pose no it would not be in an a pose it would be in the one idol animation it is and it would be okay yes it would be so blammo right now right and it would be in the idol animation which is like kind of like this where it's like looking down a little bit and it's like kind of like this and it would be on a funk door, and the door would move towards you at, like, Mach 5 speeds. It's not 11.37 p.m., it's 9 p.m. I'm sorry, I don't live... The entire world doesn't live in Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> um... And so it's like, oh man, this is so scary! This is so scary! And then... Blammo. Here we are. Now we're in now we're in the citadel. Now we're in the citadel. Where the one time they use the screen, the one time they use the screen in Half-Life 2 is when the there's a stalker and one of the, the, the prisoner pods and it goes by you and you hear the scream. It screams. It does it twice. And that's the only two times that they have ever done it. What is this? What is this lighting situation that I have going on right now? I am a silhouette. <laughs> There's nothing here. This lighting is like, this lighting is awful. This is actually so bad. <laughs> And like, I can make this any color of light that I want, just from my phone. Look, it's so, it's so magical. Here's a different shape. That's green. I almost just said blue, and then I hit green instead. Here's blue. This is a lighter blue. Here's orange. 
Orange is, like, kind of normal lighting, because, you know, yellow, orange, lighting. Um, there's a yellow, which is, again, almost pretty close. It's pink, which is more than, like, purple. <laughs> a different blue is just kind of green when you mix a couple colors together, you know? Um, don't you dare, um... <laughs> but orange is sepia. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> There's n <laughs> <laughs> This is so stu- I'm not even playing a game right now. I'm just kind of standing here. I brought- I brought in this light for no reason. I can't play VR- well, I can play VR like this. Do I do that? Let me set it to red lighting, like stark red lighting, and we'll head back in and we'll see how great it is. Stark red, it's at a hundred intensity, a hundred bright, like a hundred intensity, a hundred saturation. Why are you in a post rock music video? I'm sorry, that just clipped the mic so bad. <laughs> post rock music video. <laughs> Oh my god. I imagine, okay, so like, lights, right? Light goes around a lot of different places. Um, there's a couple windows, and our neighbors can see kind of into this room. Um, so there's a stark red light coming from it now, so that's great. How disoriented will you be after being in VR with this lighting? It will not affect me, actually. This will not actually affect me too bad. Because this is a closed box. This, oh my god, the haloing effect on my hair right now is kind of insane. Oh, call that an eclipse. Let me put this back on my head. New halo tech. Let me put my VR stuff back on, because this won't affect me. This is a closed box. Um, I can literally play this in pitch black and not have a problem. Like, literally, there's no problem with me playing this in pitch black. Um, let me swap over to video game. There we go. I'm gonna give this another shot. Let me make sure this light isn't within my play space. So my play space is about here, but I never stand here. This is a forbidden zone of a play space. You don't know what the play space looks like, but it's not that great, so whatever. We're gonna play, and we have this awesome red lighting now, which honestly improves the stream tenfold. God, I'm not over... Foxy scream. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. Okay. I can use this. Except, okay, don't pull the trigger like that. Security cam POV. Or Testing a classified game while being watched over by a red beam. That's just my next game. What are you talking about? That's a lie. What I should do, I should have my phone on me, and like in my hand. And so every time I walk into a new room, like, this is yellow lighting, change the light to yellow. Like, there we go. That's definitely something I could do. Um, small box. Do I want to go with this? This will literally have every single small item, like, small weapon firearm in the game. It could be really good. It could be horrible. It's really good. Guys, 
It's looking a little bit awesome right now. This is a micro easy. Nice. Guys, it's looking like Modern Warfare 2 in here. Now don't tell me that was a mini easy or I'll be upset at you. I don't think I need anything else. I just need this. Oh, this one? Just like in Cube. Huh? I think, Mars, I want you to know, I did not read that as Cube. I read that as like a Call of Duty. It was like, huh? What? They don't, they have loot boxes? Dude, you took that shot really well. I'm gonna save this part of a VOD to extract your cam feed and add some ghosting fillers, filters to it, then set that over 17 minute post rock. Do it. I believe in you. I believe it will work. Alright, left hand, all the way out, doing, doing this sort of pose. This looks so stupid. Do you remember Counter Strike for Kids? Wheel Gun? Does anyone else remember Wheel Gun? Like, does anyone, anyone in here remember Counter Strike for Kids? That one Machinima video? Wasn't it made by Icon? I don't remember. Actually, I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. I don't actually remember. Actually, does anyone remember Machinima? No idea what you're talking about. I remember vaguely. Lux, you're literally here to save me. Everyone in here should, um... <laughs> okay, so first of all, imagine it's 2009 and you don't know any better. And you will pretty much get exactly the age that I was when I first watched Counter-Strike for Kids. My viewing experience of the internet was not monitored and probably for worse, I'm now a source engine level designer. Desert Eagle. Um, so, Counter Strike for Kids is a machinima made in like 2008, 2009. Um, and it's a parody of like. I think it's a parody on specifically like video game violence, and so it's like, I don't know, it's advertising a new version of Counter-Strike Source, but it's Counter-Strike for kids, and it's like water guns and such, and it's like, instead of a bomb, it's a it's like a birthday cake, and so there's like a great voice line of Flaming a cake at Billy's house. Um, it's really good. Um, it's really good up until you 
get to the Bill Cosby bit at the very end of it, which at that point, uh, you don't, you can pretend that doesn't exist. That's not part of the video. Um, and it's at, like, the very end, so you don't have to watch it. It has not aged well in the slightest. Okay, I shot that guy's gun out of his hand. I highly recommend, um, if you watch that video, be aware that it is a product of its time. But it's also, like, <laughs> a very important video in regards to Source Engine Machinima. And there was, like, one of the really popular ones. It was mostly unsupervised, and at the same time, it literally showed YTPs to my mom and my therapist! Too big of a YTP kid. I watched them, um, but most of my time on YouTube at that time was okay. First of all, Roblox Machinimas. It was Roblox Machinimas, and it was sort of like Gary's Mon Machinimas. I did a live dub of Mama Luigi and showed it to my middle school friends in the computer lab. So I watched a couple, there was like this group, okay, so Blockland, um, not, uh, I've been sent another mp4 file, and my watch has now decided to send it to me. Um, it's entitled boxfree.mp4. Let's, uh, let's go. Take a look, shall we? Tyler, why is this... Why is this my room? Like, this room? Oh, no. Show it, you know exactly what it is. You know what it is. Oh my god, thank you, Tyler. <laughs> oh, I can't see this message from Mars. Can I say something? Despite being a weird online gamer kid who was playing MMOs from age 8, I have no idea I had no idea Roblox even existed before I started watching Socks and Go. I thought Roblox came around like five years ago. No. No, I've been on Roblox since, like, 2008. My first... The video that made me learn what Roblox is was, um... 
there, there was a video that I watched in late 2007 that made me realize, like, made me figure out that Roblox was a game that existed. Um, I don't... I don't remember what game it was. Or, I don't remember what video it was. My Roblox account will be 16 years old this year. My Roblox account will be 14 years old, I believe. Wait, let me see. May... wait. No. It's gonna be 15 years old. In May. I'm pretty sure May 28th, 2008, is the day that I made my Roblox account. Circle Puddle. <laughs> What I remember of old Roblox games, or of old Roblox, the one thing that like I remember very distinctly was um, the admin account and how people thought that the admin account was like a real person and they got banned or something like that. Does anyone else remember that? Like, does anyone else remember admin? <laughs> Or did I spend too much time on Roblox forums? It's probably the latter. Um, It's good to know that I have like 10 round mags. Come on. My brother is a Roblox kid now, and watching him play is insane. It's very insane to me to think that my Roblox account on its own is like already like. Very... It's very much already older than most um, of the kids playing Roblox. Ow. Amen. It's very weird to think about my Roblox account being 15 years old this year. Um, and that is way above, like, most of Roblox's target audience age, which is very funny to think about. I'm out of ammo. What am I doing? struggling a little bit, but that's fine. Hold on, I'm trying to like read chat messages right now, but I'm in like an active war zone. BTS right now. Don't ask me why I just said that. Hmm. 
This is like the late night stream is when you get a weird version of me. This is like Delta Rune like weird route. <laughs> Don't listen to me at all right now. I'm just kind of saying words in the red void. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go in there. Please. I'm good. What the? Okay, man. What am I doing? I am so excited to get larger magazines for this. This is a little bit ridiculous. pistols rather than like trying to reload every second like that that's just a double kill right there I hope nobody heard what I said that entire time. Um, I was trying to mention some. I forgot I have this. Should use it only. Um, there was a so. Blockland is like this sandbox game that um, nobody plays anymore. Because the entire community just died. Um, and for probably the better. There's, there's nothing worthwhile there anymore. But the one, like, good thing to ever come out of Blockland was this, like, group of people named Block Eye Entertainment. And they just made, like, full movie machinimas in Blockland. It was kind of insane. That's, like, the only thing that came out of like block land that I think is even remotely palpable nowadays. Dude, the the do have one then. I need to watch like Maple Story RP AMVs. That is a combination of three words that I don't think I've ever considered in my entire life. Oh my god, I have this area as a whole.
You're watching me play with my toys. I wanted to make them, but it was too hard to figure out because I was nine. Super Mario Bros. Z. Oh my god, Super Mario Bros. Z. Okay, um... So, I'm gonna throw in that to become Audrey Mag. That's a 20 round mag. It's not quite what I'm looking for, but this will do more than fine. F4. There is a sniper rifle at the last supply point. I think I'm gonna grab that just because I think they're fun to use. Hey man. Hey man. What just happened? Thanks. Did that actually do anything? Yeah, it did. I thought I grabbed the old mag and put it back in. Yeah, I'll grab the sniper rifle. It's an intervention. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, it's a, that's an anti-material rifle, never mind. Dude, I love Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You know? Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> Do you get it yet? This little sight on this is so funny. Hold on, I can actually change this to like just a dot. Yeah, that's better. Oh, oh my headset crashed! Everyone give it up, my headset crashed! It'll be back up in like, I don't know, five hours. Yay, let's all sit around and wait for my headset to reboot. Hey, we're back! I'm just going to use the intervention here because I think it's very funny. Do no way, 360! Email me at this web code if you know. Nice. I'm gonna go back over here. Okay. 
need to you remember this? No, it's good. It's good. It's fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's not good. Tracking. Don't fail me now. Stealth encryption. Okay. What the? I can't see my health. I'm just gonna assume it's pretty bad right now. I'm actually gonna take that as a precaution. I need to take out these. Come on. Please? What the? Guys, I'm dying. Oh no. I might be done for. Wait, go down here. Oh my god. That's not it? Oh my god, I might be done for. I don't know how much longer I can survive for. I am not killing as efficiently as I thought I would. Oh my god, it's heavies. I can't see you because it's chat's in my way. Hey, remember what I said earlier in the stream that I could have put it here so it's not in my way? That's out of ammo. It's nothing. There are enemies right beside me. No, no. Okay, I might be done for, but I'm gonna go out with a fight. Okay, unless the heavy does something stupid like that. I have been informed by my Apple Watch that I have set a new move record. <laughs> I sure have. Um, um, well, I die in one hit. This is literally it. I have no more mistakes that I can make. I need to get to the supply rooms. I need to get as much HP as I can. And uh, we go for it. And hopefully my battery doesn't die in that time. It's actually been okay if I can't see past the chat because actually I have my OBS preview up as well. Oh my god, I have to rush. The health. This health thing doesn't last forever. Let's see how. 
have to get him immediately. Okay, well, I'm not gonna die in a single hit now. Another large ammo crate, which is entirely random and could give me literally a BB gun. Literally, like, just an air gun. You just slink around in the back hallways, the back rooms, if you would. So canny. I hope I die in here. I'm not dead. Actually, I'm doing really good now. Okay, I shouldn't do that. What do I get out of here? A battle rifle. Um, maybe. There's one more supply point and it's like right here. So let me just... Do that. Cool. 4,600, okay. Or I could get another assault rifle, which I might honestly do. Cause I know that I'll have a higher capacity for relatively similar, kind of similar um, characteristics. If I can get armor piercing around, it would be a dream. Do that. Um, okay, well, I don't have enough points, but I have this I have full slots anyway. I have to get rid of this revolver. Don't mind me, just walking by. I think that gives me enough. I need to clear out this hallway. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, that's good enough for that side. I'll head up this stairway here and peek over. Let's see what else I can very quickly get rid of. Okay, took some damage there. Not great. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not doing that great anymore. Now that I'm just like letting myself take damage. Nice. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna make it. Wait, hold on, intervention? This is a weapon? Yeah, this is a, uh, this is an intervention chamber in 4, 408 Shaishin. Or Shaishin? 
No, that's Cheyenne, not Shaitan. This is 408 Shaitan, which is a monstrous cartridge. It's got the tiniest scope on it, it's really funny. Okay, let's do it. Night. No way, no, are you serious? These are casket mags, but, wait. This is a semi-auto rifle. Okay. This is not what I was expecting. This is 60 round casket mags, though. Okay, maybe I don't- I don't really need full auto, because I've got a good enough trigger finger already, and I don't need to slot this, because it's 60 rounds. I think I'm pretty good with that. Let's do this. This is the last one. If I get a win, that's good. If my battery runs out, well, during this, I'll be a little bit upset about it, whatever. I gotta play seriously here. can't be making like stupid damage risks. I have to hit hard. I have to kill hard. Oh, I should have checked if I could have gotten armor piercing rounds. This is going to be a nightmare when the um This is gonna be a nightmare when armored guys show up, but I'll make it through. Maybe. Luckily, these guys just have pistols, so they're not like high damage. I should not be taking damage from them regardless. Oh my god, these casket mags are coming in clutch. That one cannot go out of my peripheral. There we go. Okay, I'm getting lots of high cover, which I'm really appreciating right now. This is it. It's just head guys from here on out. Oh my god, they just took me down so low. This might be it, I might not have enough. Trying to go for bleed outs here. Okay, I'll just explode your head. Wait, no, this is awesome.
That's it. Oh my god, the cow. Cow collision. The, the, the vibe turned off right there. Oh my god, not a single, oh my god, not a single moment. The vibe battery just died. It just died. Look at that, no LEDs. That thing turned off right then and there. Literally could not have been better. Oh man, what was my score? What was my score? I gotta plug in a new battery, I have to find out. What was my score? Guys, I gotta know. Let me plug this one in, because once these batteries die, they take eons to charge. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna walk in tomorrow and it'll still be charging. Dude, that literally could not have been better timed. If I had, if I had delayed even one second there, that probably would have been it. That had to have been it. Okay. Batteries plugged in. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm back. Oh my god. Um, sixteen, one hundred and sixty five thousand five hundred. That's not my best. My best is right here, 174,000. That's still really good. Oh man. This, this deagle came in so much clutch. It was just like really reliable the whole time. I could count on it killing me one shot really well. It was so quick. This was really good, except I stopped using it at a point. I wish I had larger magazines for this. <laughs> and then this I just got, because it was a kind of a joke. Is this a on this? Oh, it's this thing. And then this thing, this 60 round ECR. CPU upgrade. This is working really well. Um, this was a wonderful test stream. So that's it. Hey everybody, it's me, Ryu from Streets. That's it. Um, that's a stream. Uh, this was impromptu. I felt like streaming VR. That's really it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sit down. I'm gonna get some water.
My favorite things is water without any ice. And dirt. Oh, my camera battery is about to die, which is very funny. Literally everything is about to die right now. This camera is about to go. Like, okay, it's out of focus now, but like, hello? Camera? Guys, the camera's dying. I am getting consumed by the mist. Um, this stream is falling apart. I'm gonna go. This was fun. Um, what's happening? Why is it focused like, like it's focused to like right here. Hello? Here we go. It's kind of normal now. Stalker scream! Ah. I, I like that I did that. Whatever, man. I'm going to bed. Good night. Um, stream soon. I'm. I don't. The microphone's right here. I'm finishing control soon. Well, finishing. I'm gonna continue streaming control soon. Yay. I'm going to bed though. <laughs> Good night. Um, vod. People who have been looking for Scratchcraft 2.0, um, everything in detail, vod. That is being uploaded right now. It might already be uploaded. Go check. Um, that is being uploaded as we speak. So that's it. I'm also going to get the, um, the two most recent Map Labs streams up. So that's it. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go goodbye. What is the stop streaming button? Oh, there it is.